what is up guys and welcome back to our road to go crew mode with Plymouth episode number 19 and first up we have got South End in a sim game away at their ground but you know this episode is just obviously games again it's actually getting quite near deadline day um sorry not deadline day but the transfer window I think at the end of this episode we'll have one more game and then that will be it so uh, obviously next episode will be the transfer window and we'll be making some more transfers but anyway we won South End 3-0 then I decided to sim the Sunderland game now should I maybe played that maybe so obviously Sunderland I think have one of the better teams in this league but as I was at home I decided to sim it instead um, and now thinking back on it I maybe should have played it because I only got a draw and I thought I could have maybe won them but um, yeah that's all the cookie crumbles as I'd say in um, you know, that, that film I can't remember what it was but anyway on to the episode it was against Burnley in our first playable game of the episode but first up as you see I did offer Barfoot Jackson a contract now you know, um, obviously he's on loan. He's on a two-year loan. I bought him when we was in the in League Two at uh, January. So obviously his loan is running out in January. So you know, I'm trying to kind of secure a deal for him. And you'll see after this game if we do or not. But uh, anyway, it was against Burnley, and actually we are top and Burnley a second at the moment. But going into half time, really, just before I came down the wing, Osborne he shoots, he and saves it. For some reason, their defender misses the ball completely. And, uh, you know, our main man, Hebe Murphy, at the moment, actually uh, puts the ball in the back of the net. So, you know, good goal there, really. Unlucky for uh, Osborne not to score. You know, he did a good run there, took on a few players. But the main thing is, we got the goal in the end. And uh, that actually put us up 1-0 against, you know, a really good team in Burnley, who, like I said, is second in the league. So, I think at the moment, we were six points above them. So, if we could win this match, we'd be nine. And, you know, it would have given us was a, a bit of a, a really good lead and you know took a bit of pressure on us really because uh, obviously we want to keep after playing so well don't get me wrong we have to keep winning games because that's what you have to do if you want to win the league but uh, you know obviously the pressure wouldn't have been really on us it would have been on them more to kind of catch up with us but anyway second half now we came unlucky there got a, a goal cleared off the line again Heber Murphy thought he should have really scored there we had some good chances. To be fair, Burnley didn't really give us a lot of kind of, you know, worry. We uh, was quite capable with attack. And as you see, Hebburn Murphy does make it 2-0. Lee grabs his second on the game, grabs our second and, uh, you know, puts us up into a good lead. And uh, I've basically won the match. So, you know, really good goal there. Off the post and in. Beat Heaton. And uh, just, you know, fantastic goal. And as you see... He gets his 11th goal of the season, which is pretty impressive, really, and uh, wins us the game. To be fair, we had a few chances in this game. It could have been a lot more than 2 0. As you see here, friggin' Judge. I don't know how he missed that chance, but, you know, it's just one of those things. It could have been about 5 0. I mean, don't get me wrong, Burnley had about 2 or 3, but not as good as our chances. But the main thing is we won the match and we get another three points and go even more up the table than them. But anyway, as you see, Balfour Jackson declines his contract, says he doesn't want to relocate. And, uh, you know, I kind of accepted it now. I've done it a lot in past of this, uh, past in FIFA 16 on career modes. And it's just the same old story. They don't want to relocate. And, you know, it's just a glitch in FIFA, obviously, what you can't really sort out. Uh, they'll just have to try and do it. Um, obviously next year but it's just annoying really because now if I want to go back in for him I'd have to pay like a million coins when in fact I was only have to pay 300k that's what the deal was agreed at at his end of his loan so you know it's annoying but it's, like I said it's one of those things what FIFA always have a fault with in their game and they just need to fix them and their game will be one of the best games ever but yeah we are against Fulham in our next game and we had to took a very early lead now a bit of a lucky goal again uh, we won the ball off that defender I don't know what we were doing obviously Hebburn Murphy did very well to win the ball for him and did even better to obviously put the finish under the goalkeeper and uh, make it 1-0 to us so again he scores in his uh, successive game and uh, not a lot of chance in the first half except 45th minute, we give away another penalty. I mean, recently, I've been giving away so many. It's been so annoying. For some reason, 
You know, my defender just goes and clatters Kearney, and uh, their player Woodburn hits it right into the top of the net, right down the middle. I mean, if I'd have stayed down the middle, I don't think I'd have saved it anyway, because, you know, it's one of those where, well, I don't know if they fixed it or not, actually, FIFA, but I remember in FIFA 15 where the keeper just used to fall over. But, um, yeah, I don't know if they fixed it or not, But because you don't really see a lot of players going down the middle anymore, kind of in that top of the roof of the net. But, uh, yeah, that Woodburn guy gets his second goal the uh, year of the season and um, obviously it was 1-1 going into half time but we came out the blocks very fast into second half Hepburn Murphy that guy again scoring another goal I mean he's on form I mean talk about Will Griggs on fire Hepburn Murphy's on more fire than him fire everywhere I mean that's, a, that's an impressive goal that you know goalkeeper no chance and he picks up his 13th goal so well 14th really my bad but uh, yeah he's doing very very well and to say he's still only really young you know he's not even that high rated either he's 70 rated which is just just fantastic but you know this celebration didn't really last for long uh, Fulham came down the wing straight away with Tom Kearney they crossed it in Woodburn was unmarked and you know when the cross came in I could just tell it was going to be a goal and uh, you know it was so you know we all was leading both times and we let in a goal both times so you know it is obviously going to finish in a draw which this match which is a bit frustrating don't get me wrong we had one more chance here Hepburn Murphy, who's on form, and he missed. The, well, he didn't miss. The goalkeeper saved it. I mean, you should be scoring that. That was easy, and then both of his other two goals. But, well, you know, it was a disappointing result, really, because we was in the lead both times, and also we should have really scored that. So, you know, a draw in the end was quite disappointing, but we kind of make up for that in an away win against uh, Brentford which we won 1-0, so, uh, you know, we did quite well in that aspect, but, you know, we should really be winning them games against, you know, teams uh, like Fulham, because, you know, Fulham, are, well, they're doing all right in the league, but, uh, you know, the, obviously we're top of the table, and we should really be winning them games, but anyway, we was against Ipswich in our last game in the episode, they was away, and uh, I was hoping for a win, to be fair, I, if, obviously, I had played the Sunderland game, this game is the one I would have simmed, and to be fair, I wish I did send this game because their goalkeeper was on some type of steroid, some type of drug. It was unbelievable. I mean, I had loads more chances than Ipswich in this game. As you see, you've had three in the first 12 minutes. And their goalkeeper is pulling off saves left, right and centre. It's not Gherkin, it's that Blackagowski guy. I can't, I don't know how to say his name right. But, I mean, it was on some else today, lads. It was better than friggin' Neuer. I thought it was 99 rated, to be fair. And as you see... Frustratingly, we're going to half time at 0 0, which I just don't know how. We had about five chances in that first half. Don't really know how we didn't score. But, you know, Ipswich, they kind of picked up the game second half. You know, quite early on, they came out the blocks, had a few good chances here. I thought that chance was dead, but their player picks up the ball and, you know, curves it right into the corner. Harvey, not really any chance of that. And uh, obviously Ipswich go one up, so I thought it was a bit harsh, really. I mean, first half should have definitely had at least one or two goals. If it weren't for their goalkeeper, would have definitely been in the lead by a few. But you know, Ipswich uh, was putting on the pressure in the you know quite early on in the second half, and uh, you could say they deserve a goal because you know I didn't really show anything. I wasn't defending well, and uh, just you know they kind of finished me off really. But anyway, we uh, you know we had a few chances in the second half. Uh, quite late on after the Ipswich goal, um, you know, this one was the best one to Vanity Curl. Goalkeeper again pulling off another great save, but in the end, we lose the game. Um, I'm not really angry with that, I'm just more frustrated at how the goalkeeper saved every friggin' shot. But you know, that's just one of those things in FIFA what you can't do anything about. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.